Yeah, so I'll actually go into what my therapist said about playing League. Vulnerable personal post here, if that's not your thing. Feel free to keep scrolling. So I grew up in an abusive household. Basically, at any point in time, I could get in trouble, and then there would be consequences that I could not predict. If my parents were feeling angry, that could come down on me, even if I didn't do anything wrong. And so I developed this habit and need for control of my immediate surroundings. To try and reduce the instances of my parents blaming me for something random, I tried to reduce the things they could blame me for. Now, what does that have to do with League of Legends? Well, when you play League, you put yourself in a situation where a lot of the game is outside of your control, even if you're a shot caller, and I do play jungle. You're in a situation where, like, 90% of the game is outside of your control, and most of it comes down to teamwork. So, no matter what you do, things can just crumble. And that feeling of, no matter what you do, things can just crumble, uh, ended up triggering some really bad memories from my past. And when teammates get frustrated, I would get, you know, like, nervous. That would make me frustrated, and it took my therapist to realize that was because I was getting into this defensive state, this protective state, because it was reminding me of what it was like being a child when my parents would get angry out of nowhere. By the way, it helps that my therapist also plays League, she plays Senna. And so we're working on exposure therapy, basically. I'm playing League games, and part of that process when I'm playing League games is I'm making sure that no matter what happens, I still like myself when it's over. And it's been going good. I've been feeling better, and I'm becoming a better League player because of it. So, you know, therapy works. Go get therapy, everyone.